Hi everyone, thank you for joining me again on another one of my weird and wonderful little adventures. Today, I would like to take you to Chipotle restaurant that belongs to one of the biggest Mexican fast food chains. The branch we're going to visit today just happens to be in Baker Street. Now, Baker Street is probably one of the most famous streets, not only in London, but in the whole wide world. So I thought it would be rude not to have a little walk around here and give you a small insight into three of the most famous nostalgic icons that make this street one of the top go-to destinations for most tourists visiting London. Any idea what those three places might be? Bear with me and all will be revealed. I am so excited about this one. So. Without further ado, let's go and check this place out. Ask anyone what they think Baker Street is famous for and nine times out of ten they will say Sherlock Holmes and of course they'd be a hundred percent right however there are a few people out there who don't realize that Sherlock Holmes and Dr Watson were actually two fictional detectives created by the author Sir Arthur Ignatius Conan Doyle in 1887 setting the milestone for crime and fiction I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Batman and Superman were also fictitious characters. I know this may come as a shock to some people, but there comes a time in all our lives where we just have to face up to reality. And moving on gracefully, if you go to the top of Baker Street, you will see the Sherlock Holmes Museum. This museum is still visited on a daily basis by hundreds of tourists coming from all different parts of the world. There is some speculation as to whether Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson lived at 221B Baker Street or 221A Baker Street, as 221B Baker Street did not actually exist in 1887. I'll leave you to decide that one. Our next port of call for places to visit around Baker Street is the famous Madame Two Swords. Established in 1835 by its founder Marie Two Swords, this museum is probably within the top five most popular places to visit in London. At any given time during the day you will find a massive queue of people just waiting to get in. Each of the models inside this museum can cost up to £150,000 to create. No one gets paid to have a wax model of themselves displayed in this famous museum as it is considered a privilege. This however could be an arguable case for the victims in the Chamber of Horrors. And so that brings us on to our third piece of historical nostalgia that makes Baker Street so famous. Well done if you guessed it right. Of course, it's the Fab Four, the Beatles. Just down from the Sherlock Holmes Museum, you will find the famous Beatles shop 
where you can buy t-shirts, souvenirs, and those well sought after collectibles. And that brings us to the end of our little tour of Baker Street as I'm starting to feel a little bit peckish. So it's time to head off to Chipotle, which this video is actually all about, and grab myself some Mexican food. Thousand years later. Can I order a steak bowl? Do you do a steak bowl? Yeah. Is it with, with, with rice? Eat yeah. here and with guacamole? Does it come with guacamole? Uh, white rice, please. Uh, black, please. Yeah, just make it uh, as Mexican as you can. Yeah, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of everything. Make it how you'd like it. How I like it? Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the guacamole. I'm giving this. Thank you very much. That's it. Lovely. Thank you. Coming up this side for you. Okay, how much is that? Is that 11.75? Thank you very much. Thank you, cheers. Would I just help myself to the drink? The drink is there and cut the result right there. Thank you very much, cheers. Style restaurant, one of the biggest fast food chains uh, of Mexican food. Never tried this before. First time they say is always the best. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of Tabasco on there because I like it a little bit spicy, and I know you should taste your food first before you put any salt or seasoning or anything on it. But what the hell? It's mine. I'll do what I like. So what we got going on here, um, some stringy cheese, which I guess would be mozzarella or some kind of a Mexican cheese, some salsa going on here, um, some black beans, lettuce of course, look at that, black beans, don't know what's happened to the steak, um, I did, oh there's a little bit, look, a little bit of steak. When I think of Mexican food, I think of enchiladas, sizzling fajitas, barbecue meat, tacos, even a chili con carne with rice chucked in wouldn't go amiss. But what I got today was just some cold rice, beans, salsa, all chucked in a box with some cheese and salad. Definitely not what I was looking for, but 
my fault entirely. I hold my hands up. I should have checked the menu because it does actually say salad bowls. If I was going to choose a salad, it certainly wouldn't have those ingredients. But then, as I say, my fault. I should have checked the menu and definitely a learning curve for me today. One thing I can say, I could certainly think of better ways to spend my £11.50. I must admit, I couldn't, feel, I couldn't finish all of it, but I've done the best I could. Maybe try a burrito or a fajita wrap next time, I don't know. But it didn't really hit the spot, to be honest with you, not as far as Mexican food is concerned. Um, I was expecting something a little bit more. Yeah, I don't really know how to explain it. We'll have a try. Come here, see what you think. Chipotle uh, Mexican restaurant, one of the biggest fast food Mexican chains. Everything's worth a little try, isn't it? I'm not going to put it down and I'm not going to say it's horrible, but yeah, I don't know if I'd do it again. Anyway, Chef's Travels, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers.